What's up guys, it's your boy Reaver and we are back with Detroit Become Human. Last time we spared Chloe at Camp Ski's house and Connor realized that he might possibly be deviant. Hank appreciated him for not blowing her artificial brains out, you know. Before we get into this episode, go down below, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and slap that like button if you enjoy this kind of content. And let's get right into the episode, guys. Here we go! Alright, alright, alright. What's up? What's up? Wait, 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 I saw, I saw something back there. I saw something back there. Gosh dang it. I saw it, and instantaneously my mind was like, I need to see what that is. So now I'm wasting time. It's all good. It's all good. Hello, beautiful. So I couldn't stick around and listen to what she had to say, but I'm already wasting these guys' time too much. So, here we go. Going back into the Matrix, man. was a bloody magazine. Darn it. Android Riot. Detroit neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines. Global population reaches 10 billion. U.S. life expectancy now 91. A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with cyber life stores broken into and the entire stock of Android stolen. But this wasn't everyday criminality. The perpetrators are thought to be androids, although the police have yet to issue an official statement. Leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows, the num shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. The worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. An eyewitness who asked to remain anonymous said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. <laughs> of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to the behavior of a deranged machine. Some are already connecting this issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower, again executed by androids. This may be the beginning of a disturbing and perplexing pattern. Shut up, media. All you do is propagate fear. Suck a dick. The Eastern Space Race. Nobody cares what you have to say. Because you suck. Let's take a sit right here. Just pop a squat. There you go. Yeah. Mug those cheeks to that bar. That's the way. I was wondering where you were. She is so into you now. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. <laughs> it's like being alone with the world. 
We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Yeah. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. We're doing right by them. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about <laughs> what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Yeah. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I mean, it wasn't bad. Other than his drug addict son being an abusive prick. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never trust you enough. Past. What no. did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? You could tell. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Pretty much everything is making her like you more nothing. now. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Well, you'll never go back to being that again. One day I was with a man who rented me. <clears throat> and without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. Hey. It shows a level of trust and caring that you don't see very often in this world. Left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. <laughs> it's okay, Marcus. It's okay. So you can't get moments like these in games like Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty, don't get me wrong. I love playing Call of Duty. But... <laughs> Simon safe. I came dangerously close to being Simon says. This is suicide. Oh, man. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. 
There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our mission. You're free. <laughs> He's like, why am I mopping? What is this? Shenanigans. There's one more. Come with us. Oh, look at you! You're awake now. Was that everyone? It looks like it was. I think that's everyone. Rally your people! You're free. He's like, Bish, you can carry your own shit, man. Okay, you've got nice legs, but get out the way, please. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. I need to block the street. You It's like, dang it, this thing's broken. This thing's busted. This thing's. You're free. He just pooped himself in anger. And then walked away. He was like, fine. Whatever, man. I don't need you. Ugh. <laughs> okay, um. Is there anyone else that we can awaken? Anyone at all? Yes, there is. Ba -ding, ba ding ding You don't have to obey them. You're free. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 We got us some followers. Yeah. yeah. All right. And here we go. Open the thing. Do 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 do. Oh, this is gonna go so well. <laughs> oh man. You didn't even have to touch them. Look at you growing in strength. No, all he needs to do is just point at them and they know. They wake up. Uh, okay.
Okay, his strength has actually become extremely impressive. There you go. There you go. Keep adding. Hey. Disperse. Disperse immediately. Just keep That's adding to your numbers, man. Don't do it, man. Jesus. Just, just back off. This best Trust me, it's in your own best interest, my guy. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know. Hundreds. Right. Thousands. Right. They're marching. Right. Yeah, they're marching down the street. What do I know? Honestly, what are you gonna do? Make yourselves look like assholes? It's not like they're physically doing anything. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until They've we have yet to our hurt freedom. a single person. And in point of fact, this is an he illegal let gathering. the cops if you do go. not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Oh. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. your last chance we have to make a statement we have to stay put no matter what please Marcus we can't let them slaughter us without fighting back we're not moving Marcus what are you doing they're gonna kill us all
bitches you left me no goddamn choice. Fuck off, son of a bitch. Stand a chance. Deal with it. Irony is, humanity is actually that pathetically stupid. That they would be that unwilling to accept. But they have no choice but to. It's okay though, we can we can we can bring public opinion back. We can. I feel like we can. Alright y'all, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Detroit Become Human. Things got tense there for a while. I'm a little bit annoyed that they forced us into that situation where we had no choice but to take them down. I mean, we had a choice, but I'm not one for putting up with bullshit, you know. But anyway, you know what to do if you enjoyed this episode. Go down below, subscribe, turn on those notifications, smack that like button, and leave me a comment telling me what you thought of the decisions that I made in this episode. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Keep it crazy! Peace.